not through him. Nobody gets to heaven but through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ today as your personal Lord and Savior, then you will not go to heaven. You will not have eternal life. You will go to hell because God is angry with the wicked every day. Because God is a holy who has a holy hatred for your sin. And the only way you can experience the love and the mercy of God is to forsake your sin, take up your cross daily, and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I know most of you don't take this serious, but I am as serious as a heart attack right now. Your eternal soul matters, and it will spend, your soul will spend eternity either in heaven with God in perfect happiness or in hell burning alive forever in eternal conscious torment it is that serious folks wake up and think about where you're headed do you know god today do you know the living god the creator of heaven and earth do you know jesus christ the one who loved you enough to die for you on the cross, to shed his blood for you, so that you wouldn't have to go to hell, but so that you could know God, and you could have peace with God. Jesus Christ is coming back. He's going to come back and judge this world. He's going to judge the nations. The sheep will be on his right hand and the goats on his left hand. And he will say to his sheep, to his people, he will say, enter in to the kingdom of God which was prepared for you before the foundation of the world. And he will say to the goats on his left hand, he will say, if you don't know him, he will tell you, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. You do not want that to happen to you. Flee from the wrath to come. Turn from your sin and cry out to God for mercy to save your soul. You must be born again. Jesus said, John 3.3, 3, unless a man is born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God. So Jesus Christ will come back. And He will judge this world in righteousness. The Bible says that when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them who know not God and who obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Lord shall punish with everlasting destruction from the presence of God and from the glory of His power when He shall come to be glorified in His saints and admired by those that fear Him. The Bible says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation with all that God has done for you to try to save your soul, to send His Son to die on the cross for you? If you reject that gift of God's love, Nothing else will save your soul. You will not escape the wrath of God. You will not escape the judgment of God. So the responsibility is on you. The choice is yours. Will you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ? Or will you reject the truth? Will you reject the truth? The Bible says God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So if you end up in hell, it's your fault, not God's. It's your fault because you didn't want to accept Jesus. He gave us you a path out. You didn't want to repent of your sins. He gave us a path out. So one of the worst things about hell will be knowing 
that Jesus died for you and you could have avoided it. That will be one of the worst things about hell is everybody that ends up there could have chose otherwise. They could have avoided that fate. But the reason that people don't want to get saved, the Bible says, is because this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. People love sin. People love their sin instead of loving God and loving righteousness. You need to hate sin. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The Bible says that the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Yes, the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. The Bible says that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you are a sinner today, if you have sin in your life today, you will not inherit God's kingdom. You must repent. Because without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. If you're not living holy, if you're not keeping God's commandments, you will not make it to heaven. The Bible says in Revelation 22:14, Blessed are those which keep God's commandments, for they shall enter into the city, the new Jerusalem. Only those that keep God's commandments that will make it to heaven. Hebrews 5:8 says that Jesus, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all those that obey him. Obey him! It's yes. not enough just to know Jesus, just to believe in Jesus. You need to obey Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So are you keeping his commandments? Jesus said in John 8, 11, he said, go and sin no more. He never said, go and sin a little bit more or go and sin some more. He said, go and sin no more. There's a lot of sin here in this city. There's a lot of sin in our nation today. There's a lot of homosexuals. There's a lot of people practicing sexual immorality. There are a lot of very, very wicked people. Drug users. There's drug users, people smoking their weed, people getting high. There's a lot of drunkards, a lot of people that like to get wasted, wasted on alcohol. And if you're doing any of those things, you need to repent. You must forsake your sin. There's a lot of liars. A lot of people today that are not honest, telling lies all the time, lying about this and lying about that. The Bible says, all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. All liars, not just some liars, all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, which burns with fire and brimstone. You are telling lies, even just every once in a while. That makes you a liar, and you need to repent. You need to stop lying. A lot of alcoholism too, brother. People that think that they can be drunkards, wine bibbers. They think they're going to enter into the kingdom of God. The Bible says the drunkard will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Don't be deceived. The drunkard will not inherit God's heaven. You've got to repent of that lifestyle. 
That reveling lifestyle, that party animal lifestyle, or you will not enter God's heaven. You will not enter God's going? heaven. You must repent. The fires of hell are real. But you must come to the knowledge.